latest on July 31st around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Three tropical cyclones are currently active, Hurricane Eric which peaked earlier as a mid-range Category 4, Hurricane Flossie which has reached Category 1 status and Tropical Depression 8W in the South China Sea. 38 storms have formed so far in 2019, day 61 of hurricane season in the Atlantic, 95L is left on the screen for now but we think they're getting rid of it. Um, it's not developing at this time. Day 78 in the Eastern Pacific, Eric and Flossie quite clearly visible here. And in the Western Pacific, 8W along with two other invests, 93 and 94W. Some models expect multiple new storms to form. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time though. It's all quiet there. Off season. The top story is Hurricane Eric, which still has winds of 130 miles per hour and a pressure estimated of 949 millibars, peaking earlier according to Force 13 Sadi with winds of at least 140 miles per hour. It's 787 miles from Hawaii, 13.7 north, 144.6 degrees west. The storm has a short window of intensification still, but whether it does anything more or not remains to be seen. By late Wednesday it will start to weaken, and as it passes Hawaii it could be really capitulating by then, and will hold on to tropical storm status, we think, until the weekend. It should miss Hawaii though, I should add. Hurricane Flossie has winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure estimate of 987 millibars. This is much further out in the ocean, 594 miles from Isla Clarion, Mexico, 12.9 north, 121.8 west. It's to the east of Eric uh, and we'll be following it on, the, on its course west-northwest. Um, either of the storms could go on to affect Hawaii. Flossie has probably got a better chance of delivering inclement conditions there. Just to point out, because I didn't before, Eric does still have the potential to deliver up to 6 inches of rain to Hawaii and Flossie could add to that total next week. Tropical Depression 8W is pictured here in the South China Sea, winds of 35 miles per hour, pressure 994 millibars, pretty low pressure because it's very broad, 235 miles from Macau, 18.8 north, 114.6 degrees east. This system is expected to progress towards the northwest and probably become a brief tropical storm this Wednesday into Thursday. It will then weaken as it enters the Gulf of Tonkin and then filter into Vietnam by the weekend and uh, be dragged towards the southwest. One or two models give it maybe a brief life in the Indian Ocean as well, remains to be seen. Here's visible imagery of Eric today. It's been looking fascinating and amazing, really, the uh, imagery that we've been looking at here. Um, you can see how well it's been looking. A small eye it was, 9 miles, an eye wall replacement cycle is now underway, and its intensity has dropped off a bit from our earlier estimate today. Wind shear is uh, moderate, 15 to 20 knots. Here's the North Atlantic, 95L, if it's still a thing, is somewhere over Puerto uh, further east though, in the far eastern Atlantic, you can see an area of interest there so with rotation, uh, low latitude now, passing southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, um, and that could become a tropical cyclone in the next week as it, as it approaches the Lesser Antilles. In the Gulf of Mexico, some thunderstorm activity occurring on the coast of Texas. Eric and Flossie are pictured here in the eastern Pacific. You can see both the systems here, both hurricanes now. Uh, Eric, you can quite clearly see, unless there's a massive turn towards the north, will end up missing Hawaii. Um, but again, the rainfall on the northern side of the storm could strike the Big Island in particular, but chances of tropical storm conditions are very low indeed. In the Western Pacific, 93W is pictured there on the eastern side of the Western Pacific. That could develop into a tropical cyclone that probably won't affect land. 94W could also develop another area of interest near the Philippines to the east, and Tropical Depression 8W is likely to develop into a tropical storm. Another area of interest down there to the southeast of the Mariana Islands, which could also develop too, believe it or not. The Australia and South Pacific region looks like this, uh, very little activity currently going on at the minute, it's all in the Northern Hemisphere. The Indian Ocean equally quiet really and you can see some influence from AW on the very far right hand side of the screen, but over India and Pakistan things looking fairly quiet, the odd thunderstorm or two. 
sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are pictured here. You can see uh, one or two little cold streams there, uh, which is where those two storms have been. Eric right now I think is still over 27 degrees Celsius waters. That will continue pretty much over its whole path for the next three or four days. The Atlantic warming up very nicely, 30 degrees plus in the Florida, Cuba, Bahamas region. And in the Indian Ocean, temperatures still around 28 to 30 degrees in general. Look how warm they are in the Western Pacific though, 30 degrees plus there as well. Um, and that extends all across that area, which could be ripe to explode in the next few days with tropical cyclone activity. Here's some floater imagery of Hurricane Eric. You can see how the eye has been shrinking in those later frames. Not only that, it's been getting shallower as well because a new eye wall has been coming in to replace the old one. Uh, it wasn't going to last particularly long with a nine mile wide eye, I suppose, uh, but a new one will probably appear fairly soon. How well it does in that eye wall replacement cycle would be key to whether it still has an opportunity to intensify a little bit more. Hurricane Flossie, not yet exhibiting a clear eye on visible. Uh, you can still see a lot of uh, convection attached to the southwestern side there as well. Uh, but its structure is getting better, particularly in more recent frames. And I think we may well see that eye start to come out uh, later today. Tropical Depression 8W is still extremely broad here. Some models aren't developing it into a tropical storm. Uh, it's going to be close. Uh, ASCAP passes from earlier today getting 35 mile an hour winds only and a lot of them. So whilst it might not get organized well, it will deliver strong winds to a large area. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Chantal in the Eastern Pacific. It's Gil. In the Central Pacific, Akoni is the next name on the list. In the Western Pacific, we might be getting through a lot of names soon, so there's the next naming names on the list. Wifa, Francisco, Lekima and Croso. We might get through all that this week if some models are correct. Hika is the next name in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets at Force 13. Search uh, the website, force13.com. YouTube, search Force 13. Subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Send a comment in if you like on any of those mediums. And we'll get back to you. That's all for now. Next Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow with updates in between. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.